However, there's another. I've asked high school students in the past, okay, so you're good in English. These, are, these kids are in super English language high schools, okay, so which means that they've been practicing conversations, discussions, and debates. And I asked them, all right, so you're, you, uh, you have wonderful AOTs, uh, you're using English every day. Do you want to be like an American or a British, uh, a British person? Raise your hand. No way. And so I asked him, what do you, so well, who do you want to be like? And one, one student raised his hand and you know, one asked him, he said, I want to be like Mr. Koryuchi. Mr. Koryuchi has never been abroad. He never studied abroad. But he's studying, he's teaching English in English. His English is not perfect. I've observed him teach several times. But he's a wonderful teacher. So this student, whose English may be even better than Mr. Oyuchi's, said, I want to be like Mr. Oyuchi. Another student raised his hand, her hand, and she gave the name of the Japanese female teacher. The Japanese students want to be like other Japanese who want to, who can speak English. When I was uh, a student, I was uh, taking care of a lot of young kids in elementary school. We were walking out in, in a park one day, and um, there was an old foreign couple uh, walking in the park. And one of the, the kids that I was uh, walking with, a 10-year-old, pulled up my sleeve and said, Hey, hey, you, you're learning English, aren't you? And I said, Yeah, I am. Go and talk to them. Go in. That's the worst kind of situation that you want, you, want, you want to be in. I have nothing to say, but I don't have anything to say. No, you, you're speaking, you're speaking, so you come, you're not going to talk to them. And he pulled me all the way to this foreign couple. And there were about four or five of these young kids. And so I said, okay, hello, how are you? And we started, started talking to English with them. And the kids were looking up. The two of us. And finally, when I said goodbye, the kids looked at me and said, hey, you really can speak English. The kids look up to Japanese who can really speak English. The kids look up to Japanese because they are Japanese. They know that they're not going to be like Americans. They know that they know that they're not going to be like British people. They know that they're Japanese. So that's the goal. The goal is to be like Japanese, other Japanese who speak English with foreigners. And I always, when I, whenever I do uh, teacher training sessions with high school teachers, I ask them at the very moment. So who is the Japanese who can use English closest to the student? The teacher. They have to be the ultimate goal. They have to be the motivating force. In psychology, people talk about the human modeling, and that's what human modeling is about. Um, I've run out of time, but this is just one final point. Uh, in 2006, the All Japan Senior High School English Debating Contest began here in Japan. Um, it's, it's wonderful because there are over 60 schools now taking part. It's, it's great. So the first few years, if you take a look at the, uh, the motions, Japan should make English an official language. Uh, all elementary and secondary schools in Japan should have classes on Saturday. Uh, Japan should lower the age of adult to 18. The schools who uh, won the, the contest here in Japan uh, all went to the World Schools Debating Contest the following year. And uh, the World Championships uh, gave the motions. When the, uh, the Japanese school who uh, came in first in Japan with uh, they should make English to the official language of Japan or not, they had to face a motion like this house would have the non-nuclear proliferation creation treaty. A team that won by saying we should have classes on Saturday they had to face this house to expand the number of permanent members of the U.S. Security Council. Okay? You can see the difference in the global issues being targeted in the world championships versus the kind of local topics targeted in Japan. Therefore, up to this time, Japan came in almost last every year. Last year, or this year, things turned around. Because starting from, the, from last year, the Japanese organizers began to look at the issues and they came up with something like the Japanese government should pro prohibit appropriate dispatching in Moto. The problem of uh, uh, the illegal uh, workers and so forth is not just a Japanese problem, the problem of employment is a worldwide problem. And what happened? This war came in 45th out of 57 countries. Up to 
now, here before, you will apply. Day by day. Now we're coming up. Which means that it's not just English, but the content is also very, very important. And I think we're learning. Because this is the real world out there. This is the real world. The external real world. But whether or not to make English the official language is an internal real world. We're doing okay there. Now we've got to step outside. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Right out of time, but you have Um, it's, it's very interesting because um, I've uh, worked with a lot of elementary school teachers who were very adamant at the beginning in using English in the classroom because they have to teach English now. Uh, there was one teacher who said, no, definitely I will not use English because I will never talk to using English in the classroom. And we got him through an in, uh, a, a intensive teacher program, teacher training program. After one year, he said, I love it. It's wonderful. The kids respond in a you know, completely different way that they responded to me when I was speaking Japanese. And I think it's true. The elementary school teachers begin to use English in the classroom with their little kids. Their responses to that same teacher is only 108%. It's so different. And this teacher began, you know, now he's, he's at the forefront of, of um, trying to get all of the other teachers to use English in the classroom. It's wonderful. Yeah. I, I agree with that also, yeah. And that's why in the, uh, the new uh, study guidelines, as you know, uh, the ministry has come up with a new senior high school textbook, which is Communication English Basic. They never had this basic thing. And this is an optional subject which should connect junior high and senior high. Because we know that there are so many junior high school kids that three years of English are dropping out. They have no, no interest in English. Five years of intensive at uh, you know, uh, 10-day workshops for all juniors and high school teachers. Yeah, right. You were probably involved in that as well. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And that was it. And 
And actually, we, even before that, they had what was called the leadership seminars. And I used to, I used to be a lecturer in the leadership seminars and now I'm school up men for many, many years. It was a warm-up month program. Training leaders uh, in teaching English in Japan. Everything was done in English. Uh, it was a, um, a stadium. Uh, they, they, the teachers were all there from morning to night and they had to use English. You know, and, but that was, that was, that was taken away when the 10 day program was uh, instituted. And now there's nothing. And that's the problem. And I agree with you. Yeah. Yes? Yeah, I agree with you. I just wanted to say, I mean, for all of the Thank you very much. I'll send you around with that question.